All right. This mower needs nothing except it doesn't run. I know, eh? So it's a Remington, which I think is a... Oh, don't quote me on it. might not be a power mower. It's a little bit of a different choke setup. Anyway, it's a Remington. In my day, Remington was the best stuff money could buy. But this one has come out of China. Not the end of the world. Uh, a pal of mine works at a big box store, and this was a return. And it won't start. He says he pulls and pulls and pulls, and it won't do anything. So I'm just going to tipple it with a little bit of carburetor spray. Look at that. Huh. All i got to do is get this guy running. And then I'm going to cheat and use carb spray. Just because. And it might just take off, man. Like, although I think it's got a clog. It's got some gas. Enough to make it go. But who knows what the gas... Yeah, let's just have a look at that. I'm sorry. Let's see what the gas looks like. You just don't know. The guy who returned it probably put the gas in it. Yeah. It's okay. I don't see any water in it or anything. But I do think it's sad over the winter. Probably got a little bit of, of uh, gel inside the carburetor. So I'm just going to do this. Go past the choke. Now that, if all is good, right, that should make it fire. Might even take off. It's been running for about 10 minutes. That's quite a long time. Eh? And I'm going to just put it up on the hoist and we're going to have a look at the uh, inside of the bowl. I, I don't want to send this back to the owner and uh, have, a, have a problem with it. Now, I may not be able to get that bowl off of there because as you can see when I zoom in there isn't that much clearance there unless I take this off oh that whole piece comes off me I'm going to take it off. 10 millimeter. Ooh. Pinch off the gas first, though. Hey, Mr. Stop! Stop! I don't know if I'll be able to get that bowl off or not. It's going to leak a little. Oh yeah, it's coming. Good. Oh, it's just... Whoa! Hey, that was fun. Crystal clean. So it just needed to be started. Boy, you know what? I'm almost ready to take that carburetor off of there again. Let's 
good. We have time. We are retired. Let's do it. Good. Oh, it's one of these. <laughs> okay, I've seen these before. This is the new choke. So it uses a temperature reactor on that one. That one comes from back over by the muffler. There. And it also uses uh, a wind from the wind vane to open and close the choke. So we've got heat there and wind there. Isn't that something? Now we're going to get you guys to just watch me take that carburetor off of there. Let's get you some height. And a little nod. And then we're going to just get some Pliers or gas line pliers. Okay. That's cool. Now, I have to look and see how this goes together. Okay, that comes off. Just and we leave it off. And then it's just a matter of these two rods. One is a spring-loaded throttle mechanism with a dampening spring right here. We're not touching that. We're going to disconnect the throttle right here. Maybe. Mm. I don't like that. Especially working on a brand new machine, eh? Good. Good. And the last one is just a choke. Is it a Z bend? Yes, it is. Can we get it out without, uh, or do I have to take the top lid off? I believe, yeah, I gotta take the top lid off. You guys are killing me. I take these three off, it should come. One. This is the rewind. Two. Three. Yeah. This is what you do so you don't break stuff. I just want to disconnect this rod right there. That should just pull off. All right, let's go to the bench. Ooh, that's a small, small hole in that. Okay, now I'm taking off the, uh, I'm just undoing the main jet for the whole carburetor. And I'm sure there was a chunk of dirt in there or something. Look at that, eh? I count four. 
and three. Whew. We're going to definitely change out that fuel. Okay, what have we got here? We need a, a poker without a, without a 90 degree in it. Right there. Oh, and this one has five. One, two, so there are 12, 22 holes in this emulsion tube. I will show you that in one second. Wow! I've never seen 22 holes in an emulsion tube. Can you see through? Yeah, you can. Okay, I'm just going to give it a shot down the length. I'm not seeing it. I'm glad I put my glasses on today, Hank. Good. What about this tiny little guy? He's got a hole in him. And I'm going to take out... I'm going to remove I'm going to remove the idle circuit which is right here and you just usually pop it up with a pair of pliers it's not usually that on a new carburetor it shouldn't be hard to get off there we are Good. So I'm just going to spray through that without wrecking anything let's get some fuel though so that we can do a dunk there $44 worth of fuel. I'm going to see if this squirts. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay. Now I'm just going to go over the rest of the carburetor. Do I ream that out the tiniest of tiniest of tinies? That's dangerous. Some of these are already pre-broken, so I got to be careful. Did you guys see me do that? Took this blue one. The pink one didn't. The, the pink one was loose. These are little drill bits, and then the next one up was this blue one, and I just reamed it out so softly. Killing me softly. Good. Now I'm going to put this guy back together after dumping a little bit of gasoline on these guys. Down in here. Okay. Emulsion tube. Jet. Okay, so I just put the, th the idle screw circuit back in and I extend it to about there. I hope you got all that. And now we need a float bowl seal. That's good. And then let's see, we're going to be Coming in from that direction, we want to drain it from that direction. And let's go put our lawnmower back together again. This is very important to get this because it's a new machine and uh, we, uh, we want to get everything just right. Eh? So we'll put that gas throttle cable back in there. 
and we connect the dampening spring up to that little tiny hole right there. Good. And then the choke arm, well we can take this right off, right? This goes on to there, to one of the choke arms, right? There we go. And then this, if we're really careful, that goes back on there like that. And it should, this is the important part, the carburetor choke lever should be between these two bars. I know. Nuts, huh? So we got choke action there and choke action from the wind vane. See the wind? Choke! Oh, no choke! Choke! No choke! Choke! So this activates it when it's cold on the, on the wind vane and the temperature vane activates it when it's warmer. <coughs> Crazy, eh? <laughs> So do we have action there? Yes we do. I don't see any other way. Good. Now we're going to put this on all at the same time. So that the uh, gas line goes on the carburetor. Clamp! Uh, I don't watch those medical shows, but I hear them in the background. Okay, we have the carburetor. Whoop! Yeah, baby! We got the carburetor back on. The little choke is in between this lever and also this lever. Can you see the choke operating there? And uh, so now it all goes back together at the same time. I'm going to try and put the cover of the uh, carburetor on first and then the rewind with the uh, gas tank on last. And I cleaned out the gas tank too. So now it's just a matter of getting the vent hose in the right spot, which is just underneath there. They're always a pain. Eh? Should be it. There we go. Good. So I enlarged this carburetor main jet by like 0.5%, 0.5%, not 5%. Let's just make sure nothing's binding here. Nope. Okay, now this bad boy goes right on top of there. We can probably lower the mower down so we don't hurt, donk our fingers. Oh, spray can there, that's no problem. All right. Now, we are. The guy who owns this is a friend of mine named Cliff. He's a good friend. He, uh, he sells paint. You guys are watching this, right? Now we're going to just tidy this up. So now we really hope that we didn't screw that uh, main jet up too much. Now this isn't a marvelous lawnmower, but it's new. And there is something to be said for new, right? Good. Now, I'm not going to put that air filter on there right away. I'm going to just put some go juice in. Oops, put some go juice in this bad boy. For those of you doubters out there, this is the fuel I'm going to put into it. 
and this is the fuel I took out. It's probably still burnable, but what bothers me is uh, how many little microscopic pieces of congealed ethanol are floating around in that yellow stuff on a brand new lawnmower, man. Everybody gets a half a tank. A full jug doesn't glurp very much. For my glurp fans, I got, I, would you believe it? I have glurp fans. How many glurps is that, Bruce? How many glurps is in a gallon? How many glurps is in a liter? <laughs> All depends on how much gas is in the tank to start with. All right. Now we're gonna back this bad boy up and it should start. And if it does, we'll give it a wipe down for Cliffy. I have two friends by the name of Cliff now. Let's turn this a little bit. Pull him down so I don't bang my elbow on the on the vice. I got more than one vice, you know. Okay, it should fire. No parts left. Let me just check. Maybe I left the part out of the carburetor, right? Okay. Nothing but the air filter left. Let's do it. We'll get a clamp. Let it run for a bit. Come on. You're my baby. That sounds really, 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 really bad. It has oil. Mm. I'm going to just look under the hood. Alright guys, one more look at this lawnmower. You know, it's mowed a few things, right? Which just makes me wonder if he forgot to put oil in it. But I'm going to take the blade off and check the blade adapter. Because it sounds like hard metal, not aluminum. Ah. That could be it, you know. There are some real, real wicked looking scars on that. Okay.
Got it. There was a lock washer missing on the blade adapter. It doesn't go up and down anymore. <laughs> I think I got it. I never thought about their. I thought about the blade adapter being damaged, but I kept coming back to these scratches. You see that? You see those scratches right there? I kept coming back to that. It kept bugging me. So now we're going to tilt this bad boy. Take all these tools back over to said bench. So did they assemble that wrong in the factory or Okay, let's check and see if Cliffy's running today. So let him run a little bit. You know, this is only a 140cc engine. That's quite small for here in Canada. So on this cute little mower, uh, the gas was old, not real old, but old enough to create crystals which clogged off the carburetor. So I cleaned the carburetor, I jetted the main jet just a tiny bit, because it's a 140cc engine, not 160cc engine, so they're a little bit fussier on the jet size, so I just did it a hair, right? and then. The blade adapter was loose because it didn't have the washer and the lock washer on the blade. Wow, huh? 